How you doing everybody? Nick DiVirgilio here and today's video is using Superior Drummer 3 with your electronic drum kit. TuneTrack has really raised the bar on their already amazing Superior Drummer program. Came from 2.0 and now this is 3.0 and the sounds are amazing. Recorded by master engineer George Massenberg. He's one of the most sought after engineers in the world. All the drums were recorded at Galaxy Studios in Belgium, one of the greatest studios in the world. With a microphone selection that is just second to none and drums that were specifically picked out by George Massenberg himself. Seven different drum kits, well over 20 different snares, recorded in 11.1 surround. Now you might not have an 11.1 surround system at your house or in your studio, but you don't need it all. You still get to use all of the microphones that are recorded for 11.1, which means all the different ambient mics, room mics, and you can just go to town on these drum sounds. And you can play them with an electronic kit. So let's get into all the details right now. All right, TuneTrack and Superior Drummer have made it so easy to go through all their sounds, change sounds on the kit whenever you want to. Let's get through the sounds of the default kits very quickly. I'll play them here from the drum, from the Roland drum kit and show you how quick it is to change sounds on your drum kit to get to whatever you need to fit your piece of music. In the play-in piece of music you heard me play the drums with, I was using the Pearl Masterworks default kit here, except when you load the default kit, it comes with a 24 inch kick drum. Sounds big and beefy like this. Here we go. Big and round and boomy, but I wanted a little bit more of a punchy sound. All you have to do is go right up here to the tab. Make sure you have the particular drum you want to change highlighted. The drum will be highlighted in blue. Okay, that's the floor tom, see that? Now the kick drum's right there. Go up to the tab just above the drum kit. Scroll down to whatever you want. And there's tons of options. I needed a little bit more of a punchy sound, so I'm picking the 18 by 22 inch kick drum, and this is what it sounds like. A little more punchy, a little more rock and roll, so to speak. It fits that style of music that I was playing in the playing music, I think, a little bit better. Here's the sound of this drum kit with that kick drum by itself. All of the drums and the cymbals are sampled pristinely, you know, this, the drums ring all the way to the very end, the cymbals decay beautifully, there's no digital anything. They sound just great. So let's get to another sound of another drum kit, another one of their default kits. Click the tab, let's go to the AOT kit. Now AOT was a drum company from Canada, very high-end drums that were sought after by a lot of players. And I'm sure that's why George picked this particular kit to sample. This is what this one sounds like. You can hear the ring of the samples, the decay of the drums ringing beautifully. Very, very nice. I want to show you something too real quick before I go on to the next sound, the next drum kit. I only have one rack tom and two floor toms here on this Roland TD50 kit. And you'll see on the screen, the AOT kit has three rack toms and two floor toms. But whatever note, MIDI note number you have on your particular pad, that's the drum that's gonna trigger in the program. So when I hit this rack tom, you'll see, I think it's the first rack tom on the kit on the screen that's gonna trigger. Pretty easy. So no matter what size of electronic kit you have, don't worry about everything you're seeing on the screen here. You can detach those drums, take them off there, mute them whenever you want, or you change the MIDI note of this particular drum to play a different sounding drum in the program. I hope that makes sense to you. Next sounding drum kit is the Gretsch. Old school Gretsch round badge vintage drum kit. I don't know what year the particular drum kit is that they picked, but it's easily something from the 70s, maybe even the 60s. Big 
24 inch kick drum on this particular default kit and this is what this one sounds like. Next in line is the Ludwig Classic, a 70s Ludwig kit. Big, great for old school, like arena rock sounding songs, whatever you want. But this is what this one sounds like. That particular sound has a bunch of ambience and reverb on it. Again, perfect for a big rock ballad or anything like that. Very inspiring and a lot of fun to play, actually. Going down the line, this kit is a lot of fun. It is a Ludwig Concert Tom drum kit. So a single-headed drum kit, a la Phil Collins style, old school thing like that. And it's very cool. Big kick drum on this one, too. 14 by 24. Yep, 14 by 24. So here we go. You're hearing ambience and reverb on all of these kits right now, but there's 35 effects, brand new effects they have in Superior Drummer 3. So you can get that Phil Collins gated drum sound easily with this particular single headed kit, put on a gated reverb, delays, all kinds of stuff and tweak the sounds to your heart's content. This is just again the default settings. Next kit in the default set is a Premier drum kit. Premier is a great old English drum brand, tons of players played it throughout the years. And this is what this one sounds like. These drums sound very realistic. And finally for the default drum kits is the Yamaha Beach Custom. Great punchy sound and drum kit, killer for all kinds of music. Here we go. So just with the default presets alone, you have so many beautiful sounds to choose from. Now let me show you how easy it is to create your own custom kits, to change sounds around. They've made it super simple in Superior Drummer 3. First thing I'm going to do here is change the sound of the snare drum. Show you how easy it is to do that. And there's a number of ways to do it, a number of ways to get to the same place. Like I showed you above, you can just go up to the tab above the drum kit, click on it, and a list of the snare drums or whatever other drum you're looking for comes on the screen and you pick and go through the sounds. Okay. Another way you could change the sound is control click or right click on your mouse, click on the drum and that same list comes up. You know, and again, you have the list of the snare drums there, but in Superior Drummer 3, you can play not only the 250 gigs or so of sounds that come in the core library, you can play sounds from any tune track library. So any of your Easy Drummer packs or any of your other Superior Drummer packs from Superior Drummer 2. So this, the sound options are just limitless really. What you do at the very top of this list, it says search for instrument. Now you can search for sounds in very specific ways with this search window. On the left, you can pick any of your other sound libraries. And you have a bunch of different options to choose from. So you do acoustic, Go to snares, uh, I don't know, this is the instrument here, uh, you pick the manufacturer, and then whatever you pick in your descriptions above, it'll basically whittle it down to those specific drums with those criteria. So it just makes it easier to pick out specific sounds 
with specific definitions, okay? Rather than going through eight million sounds that you have in your library. So they made it very easy to search for sounds in this way. Then when you find the sound you want, close it and you're good to go. And you do the same thing with any other drum in the library. Before I go to making a custom drum kit with my own particular sounds that I choose, I want to show you how easy it is to use this program with whatever electronic kit you have. Superior Drummer 3 and TuneTrack did something really special here to make it easy. Now I have a very nice TD50 Roland kit here that has USB out on its interface, so it makes it very simple to do, but any interface that has MIDI can be used with Superior Drummer 3 and your computer. What they did was this. Under the settings tab up here on the left hand side, there is a tab that says MIDI in and eDrums. Click on that tab. All right. What they did is they pre-mapped Superior Drummer 3 with just about every electronic drum kit brain that's out there on the market today and even a lot of the old ones. So almost no matter what you have, if you have say from Roland, if you have a TD-11, TD-25 or even older models, Superior Drummer 3 is already mapped to that drum brain. That is amazing. If you have an Elisa Strike kit or any of the other Elisa's drum kits, you could play it that way. They have infused cat drum kits, uh, all kinds of stuff, Yamaha, all of their electronic drum stuff is all mapped already inside Superior Drummer 3, which is will save you just days and days of time. And so you can just get up and play. You don't have to worry about futzing with the program, which is beautiful when you want to create music and not worry about being a software engineer, right? It's all about creating and making music right away, and they really helped you out in putting that inside this program. It's very cool. All right, now... Let's create our own drum kit while we're sitting here. Now, since I only have, like I told you before, I only have one rack tom, two floor toms, let's make this a little more visually friendly and get rid of the drums that I don't want, I'm not gonna be using. All you have to do is there is again, right click on the drum where it says more, you just go up here and it says remove instrument. And then you see it, you still kind of see it, but it, it just makes it clear so there's no sound coming there. We'll do that same with this rack tom right here. Let's say, I'm gonna put the, let's go a little crazy here. I'll put the nine by 13 Gretsch round badge for that rack tom on the first floor tom. The Ludwig concert 15 inch. And for the second floor tom, I'm gonna do the 16 by 18 Premier. That's a great sounding Yamaha kick drum right there, but let's go for something different. How about the, the 16 by 18? It's a small AOT drum kit, no resonant head, which means there's no front head on the uh, kick drum. And sometimes when you're recording in the studio, it's a lot of engineers like to take the front head off of the kick drum, put a blanket around it to, to isolate it from all the other microphones. And that's kind of what they did here. So now this is what this kit sounds like. Again, that was just using default sounds in here. That's not really getting into all of the deep, deep stuff that this program can do. This is a good spot in the video to mention that our own Mitch Gallagher is gonna do his own video on Superior Drummer 3, basically from the standpoint of what a sort of non-drummer would use Superior Drummer for. If you're a keyboard player, guitar player, if you're just a, you make a music creation, you need these great sounds, he'll show you how to use it in that setting and get in more detail about all the ins and outs of what this program can do, and there's a lot. It's very deep. Before I show you the mixer window and how you can manipulate the sounds from that point of the program, let's play a few more of the default kits that are already programmed into Superior Drummer 3. Now these are kits that other artists have constructed themselves, and there's some really cool sounds. Now, also, Superior Drummer doesn't have just acoustic sounds. There's a ton of electronic sounds. You can mix and match stuff to your heart's content. 
All right, I'm just going to pick a few random kits here to play for you. Under the Tune Track Presets tab, let's just pick one. How about Funk Delicious? I'm feeling kind of funky right now. Let's see what this one sounds like. Let's get funky. That was funky. There's a tab here called Attaboy versus Cliff. There's some fun sounds in here. I think I'm going to pick Cannibal. What could it be? You could tell that there is the Yamaha Birch kit. It looks like a uh, Ludwig stainless steel snare drum and the Premier kick drum. They've manipulated the sound quite a bit, put some sort of gate or effect on the toms so they're cut off really quickly. Very cool for electronic music maybe. Again, you could do so many different things with this program. A couple more for you before we move on. One of the most fun kits to play in here is from Bob Rock. He has a couple in here. This is Rock Kit number one. This is another one of those big arena rock sounding drum kits. It's loading up just about done right now. And here we go. big cymbals, big drums, all mixed together beautifully, and I haven't even touched the mixer page. And speaking of the mixer page, let's go there right now. TuneTrack has made it very easy to have different windows in Superior Drummer 3, and now I have the mixer page detached from the main window. If you want it back on there, you just go into the View tab right here. There's Detach and Reattach all. If I reattach, now the mixer page is in the same window where the drum kit was. If you want to detach it like I had it before, again, just go up to the View window, Detach, and you pick which particular window you want to detach from the main window. Hit Mixer, now the mixer is on its own page, and whatever you want on the other pages are there on their own as well. There you go. Like I mentioned earlier in the video, George Massenberg recorded these drums in 11.1. .1. There are a ton of microphones recorded with every drum kit. They were put all over the room. So you get the use of every one of those microphones on every kit. If you want them all turned up, you can do that. If you don't want any of them, you want just the core, close mic ones, you have all of the options there. And it's all right there on the mixer page. All right, here's the mixer page on its own. And like I was saying, every microphone that was recorded with this kit or any kit shows up here, labeled very clearly. On the bottom, you see the names of all the drums or the ambient mics that they have there. Ambient far, ambient near, ambient middle, front left and right, center, surround left and right, all kinds of options to use. Your levels from the faders here, right? You can mute, you can solo them. Your panning options. And like I mentioned earlier, there's 35 brand new effects. So some of these drums have effects on them. Some of the effects are on the bus channels. So right here you have an EQ. In this particular drum, there's the curve. All kinds of classic compressors. If you scroll over to the right here, here are your bus channels. So the kick drum has its own separate compression, some more EQ on it, all the way down to the master left and right out, which is right here on the end. And even that has a compressor on it, like a bus compressor, so you can just squash, gain up the sound of the whole drum kit 
with that effect. So tons of sound options. If you are a music creator doing film work, TV work, anything like that, Superior Drummer 3 is an awesome program to get sounds for that style of music. Before I close out this video, the last thing I want to show you guys real quickly here is the, all the different boxes on the right side of the page here where you can do editing of your electronic kit. It's very cool because it shows you pretty much every detail of what you're doing on your pads. Now this goes for pads that are like an electronic drum set here or pads from say, you know, a, an SPDS or a sample pad pro from Alesis or anything like that. Your controller pads on your keyboard, you can get into tweaking the sounds on those pads and how those pads function right here on the right side of the program here. For instance, this one says hi-hat CC edit and if you open up that little window what this does is it shows you every spot in the hi-hat of where the um, articulations happen. So in the hi-hat you have a bunch of different articulations. You have the closed sound, the slightly open sound, all the way open like that and in here you can adjust your particular hi-hat pedal and where those articulations happen and adjust it to your playing on your kit which is a great feature. All you have to do to change it is grab it and drag and it shows you the note value on the left side right there. Very cool feature there. MIDI monitor shows you all the different CC values that are happening while you're playing in real time. You can see how it's changing and telling you what's going on, how loud, you know, MIDI goes from zero up to 127 that's sort of the range of think of that as the volume of that MIDI note and it tells you what's going on and how hard you're hitting shows you the note on and note off things so you can get in there and tweak those if you need to over here in these boxes is where you can also get into tuning of the drum I have, a, I have a picked the snare drum right now. You can adjust the tuning right here. All the way to very low. Very, in, everywhere in between. Very easy to do. You can change velocity curves, envelope settings, all of that kind of tweaky stuff to really fine tune the playability of your electronic kit with the Superior Drummer 3 program. And there you have it everybody. Superior Drummer 3 from TuneTrack and your electronic drum kit. They've already pre-mapped almost every drum brain on the market to work with Superior Drummer 3. So easy to do. Just pick the drum brain you have and you're up and playing and making music. If you do music production at all, if you are a songwriter, even a non-drummer, Superior Drummer 3 is your drum production tool. So easy to use. Tons of great sounds recorded by George Massenberg in one of the best studios in the world. The options are almost endless. If you want any more information about this tune track product, or any other tune track product, just contact your Sweetwater sales engineer. Thanks a lot for watching this video.